I've just got some news from down at Maple Farm. And surfer number three is down. And the company that owns the cab he was on sent a wonderful, su supportive mess email saying they will never work with Quadrilla again. <laughs> and if they had known that that surf was going to a fracking site, they would have never tried to deliver it. <laughs> They'd also like to thank all the protectors and RTP for all the great work they are doing for, for protecting our countryside. So they have sent that email around to us. So we've got one of them down. So for those just tuning in, we're up at uh, the top of the Sorry security guard who just told me that you were winning. I don't think you're there anymore. You were never winning. Supplies drop We will always win. <laughs> You're losing and you'll be out of a job soon. <laughs> so anyway, so we're up at PR and this is by the gates. We've got to stay here till 6.30 to prevent any other vehicles going in. It's raining heavy. If you can come up and lend support, we'd really appreciate the bodies. Um, down below at the Maple Farm where the three... Truck service we would like to stay here till half three and a half, six. nearly four days. So if you guys can manage carrying on dancing in the rain, we would yeah. love you to do it. We're going to stay here till half six, so that the site is closed till half six, and then the, the workers can go home, and that all can work. Half six. We're out. We're about five now, so about an hour and a half. Keep on dancing. Keep on so being lovely. So these honourable people are now going to keep themselves amused with hula hooping and circus skills and music and drums and stay holding this place until half six so that we succeed in keeping the site closed for the entire day. For those just tuning in, an announcement has just come. Sorry, I'm under an umbrella if you can't see things. Um, the, the third lorry surfer has just come down because the company has pulled out completely. They've apologized profusely. They hadn't realized it was a fracking contract. Many suppliers come into this um, as subcontractors. They're not told who the end user is or what it's for. Once they find out, they realize they do not want to get caught up in this industry and they also are as aware as we are of the risk that's going to come with it. So thanks to the lorry surfers who just got all that attention. That's three hauliers who pulled out today. Don't forget, earlier in the, in the year we got Eddie Stobart pulled out, three cement suppliers and God knows how many others. No one wants these contracts and we will take this industry out one supplier at a time and one shareholder at a time as well because shares are down 40% since January 5th and in the last couple of days they've begun to plummet again. So yay our lot. So if you can make it up, do. And if not, we'll see you at Maple Farm when you can. Thank you.